Welcome everyone to Canadian Tire Motorsport Park race number 11 of the Exalted Truck Series. Max Anderson is on pole for today's race and here is the full qualifying results. Now we take you to trackside as we're about to get the race command. Drivers! Start your engines! Okay, engines fired up, here we go. Pace truck moving, field is moving, here we go. So our second road course race of the season, and it's here in Canada, Bowmanville, Ontario. Can the entire one of the favorite uh, road courses on the schedule? Had its crazy moments, big wrecks and drama. Hosted a lot of races. In various series. Here we go. Coming to the green. Green flag is out. We're underway. Oh, and there's already a crash. Brad Cheston. Got Rodriguez on pit road. Johnson. King Tina McCoy and the 98 Alex Poodman. Already we got ourselves a crash. Yeah, Brad Justin, yeah, it's not it's gonna say they didn't even start the race. And yeah, that did not take long at all. You know Anderson in the dirt. Still in the grass there. Nanico way off. Here comes a two on the inside. That's Travis Chapman. Max Anderson, who almost won the Daytona Road Course race, up front once again. Going through this long and dreary straightaway. The two of Chapman, can he get him? I think he can. Yes, he is clear. And coming to the line, it will be Chapman taking the yellow flag. First caution of the day already. We'll take a look at the replay. Well, this was just a pretty weird wreck. They just got going. And then the 12, the 8, and the number 97. They go off the track. And into the tire barriers. You saw Brad Justin there in the number 97. Hit it pretty hard. <coughs> yeah, they all just lost. Lost grip. Lost traction. And just, yeah. Just drove off the track and into the tires. So, uh, we're not done yet. Still got another wreck, I believe. Either that or something happened to another truck. I'll take a look at that right now. So, that, so uh, if you saw it, the 52 truck was really slow. I thought they didn't get to the line in time. That's why they're so slow. But no, uh, May's truck just went up in smoke. They held up the entire field. Yeah, I thought she crashed. But it could have been a crash because of all these trucks being held up. Yeah, you can see they're all scrambling to get by and there's trucks on the inside squeezing by on the grass all over the place and then there's contact from the 20 still no wreck yet just to be sure pretty sure there was thinking look at the 40 and the 18 oh yeah they're going down that hill through the grass that's not gonna work or maybe it will Man, this is wild Nearly hitting the inside wall. Going to 5A and 5B is already tricky enough. And they want to do it going through the grass. But they made it. They made it work. Alright. So there was no other crash. So yeah. We'll take you back to the restart. Alright. Here we go. So it was a header on the 52. So the only two trucks out of the race. Here we go. Getting ready to go green. Green flag. We're back underway. So two of Travis Chapman, huh? Totally forgot that Chapman's even part of the series. Yeah, he's been pretty quiet. He's running, he's 18th in points. One top five, one top 10. One spot gained after Knoxville. Assuming a 30, the Phoenix winner in second. 
They're currently 31st. Losing 9 spots. I think that's the most out of everyone. Yeah, it is. They're jamming now through the grass, but he quickly gets back on the racetrack to pull the block. Oop, David Davison in the 3. That was close. From a wreck. Here comes the 24, Max Anderson. Looking for some redemption after Daytona Road Course race. He's got the in, he's looking inside, but can't get a nose in there. Two and thirty drafting down that long straight away. Max Anderson, he's eleventh in points. He just lost a spot. Take him out of the top ten in points, and here he comes to the inside again. And our first lap completed on the green. Side by side still. So we will have the advantage here. Not quite. Big run. On the top carried a lot more speed. It's got the inside here. Still not clear yet. Sending it hard into 5A. Oh, contact. He really wants to take second back, and he does just that. Just knock the other out of the way. Let's see the others. Currently, they uh, check a step in the 34, currently in fourth place. Uh, Stephen Oaks in the 21, the Knoxville winner, currently in 5th, Fisher in the 5, in 6, David Davison in the 3, oh, wow, what a save. Incredible, man, he didn't even touch it. David Davison really driving the hell out of that truck. I think he's still, uh, he thinks he was still at Knoxville, maybe. David Davidson currently 20th in the point standings, losing 5. So, so far it's been a okay season. And it wasn't okay. Raymond Fisher in the 5. Entering this race, he is 17th in points, gaining 8 spots. So they're starting to pick things up here in the truck series. As we can see, Max Anderson has closed in on our leader. Michael Brown in the 16. The Cup Series, we know that the series does not treat him kindly and neither does the trucks. His truck stats are even worse, but they're also the same. At least when it comes to the wins, top 5s and top 10s. 0-0-0 zero, zero, zero across all the boards. Brown 40th in points. It's just been a real bad season. As Anderson has now taken the lead, he's got it. Back out in front. Here comes a 34 to third. Just clears a 30. No, maybe not. Now she did. Toyota's for third. Chevy's for the lead. Oaks in the 21 back here. In fifth. Slowly closing in our fourth place. Our highest running Ford currently is who? Tim Randolph in the 17. Everyone just scattering all over the place. Yep. You know how 5B is. Oaks now up to third. Kasumi drops to fourth. Tim Randolph, uh, he's currently 34th in the point standings. He has no top five so far, two top tens. As here comes Chapman in a two. Battling for the race lead once again, all over the back bumper of Max Anderson. Crossover. Yep, there he goes. Oh no. Almost there. Down in the turn one, there he goes. Now he makes his move. Side by side for the lead again. Anderson's gonna let him go. He knows the two's gonna beat him here. So just let him go. He can attack a lot quicker. Get that position back. Yeah, I didn't lose any time there if he was on the outer line. Or the unpreferred line. Yeah. 
Chapman in the grass. Anderson gonna sneak by. There he goes. Kasumi gonna get third back, maybe. Sixth place is Fisher, battling with David Davison, Wes McCoy, and Michael Brown. Brown, yep, he's just looking for a top 10 in any series at this point. He can't catch a break. We know his cup stats last season. We know we, we, yeah, we, he's only uh, got clash wins. Oh, and we got ourselves a caution. Wow, that took a while to get our second yellow today. All right, Max Anderson leads. So let's take a look at the replay. So it was Colton Wilcox and Tony who was running 17th at, at the time. Yep, just like our first yellow flag. Goes way wide off the last turn, hit the tire barriers, completely wrecking his truck. Comes to a stop and really close to the uh, to the others, nearly getting sent back onto the racing surface. Luckily, it stops right where it is. But yep, it was only a single truck wreck, and that was it. We'll take you back to the restart. Five to go when they take the green flag. Thirty-nine trucks now remain on the racetrack. So far, a pretty clean race here at Canadian Tires. We haven't had any big uh, wrecks, anything like that. We we'll usually have some sort of big pile up or a medium sized one. But so far, nothing. Green flag, we're back on our way. Misty Kasumi, great restart for her. Quickly drops to the inside, down in the turn one. But it looks like Chapman able to hang on. Two trucks fast today, it looks like. So we aren't able to make that pass there. Max Anderson in a 24. Pulling away a little bit, actually. Oh, as long as he doesn't make a mistake here. Oh, what he does, yep. It quickly holds off to two. It was all over him though. He will try to make a pass and there he goes. Side by side. Oaks also trying to take third back there. And Chapman clears and back out in front he goes. Four laps to go to 30, going off the track a little bit. That'll cost her another spot. Maybe even two. It's David Davison now, up to fifth. So can I hang on for four more laps, or will we see another yellow flag? That'll put us in overtime, I believe. Or, no, I think... No, it wouldn't. I don't think it would. we would have two laps to go if we did get one right now but if we get a caution next lap then yeah oh Anderson too hot Chapman also too hot and here comes the 21 the second and now can hunt down the two truck can Oaks make it two in a row it be the second driver to get his second win this season Richard Anderson was the first to do it Huge turnaround for the 21. Just getting that first win to gain 14 spots. Oh, a little bit of contact there. They are 16th now in the points. Oh yeah, Oaks is going for it now. He needs those wins. He needs those points. But both of them definitely need them for sure. If they want to contend for the championship. We're almost halfway into the season. And yep, 21 is now clear. Chapman not letting him go that easily. Alright, let's see what they're gonna do here. Any mistakes? Oh yep, hoax goes. Why Chapman quickly cuts to the inside and retakes the lead back out in front the two car the two truck goes. Yeah, he's not gonna let anyone take this win away. 
Oaks already has his. Come with the two laps to go. No one is letting up here. Probably gonna be a five way battle for the race win. Two to 21 to 24 to 3 to 34. For now, it's gonna be a five way battle. But once they drop the white flag, it's probably just gonna be down to two to three instead, realistically. It'll be great if all five trucks can get up there and battle for the win. Here comes Stepan Oaks again. goes too wide again. So does Chapman. He goes even wider through the grass. And both the 21 and the 24 have caught up. 21's going to take the higher line, the outside line. Max Anderson is going to try to help the two truck get by. He'll take second by doing that. And here comes the rest. Step. Uh, Davison. Maybe even Fisher. Could be six trucks battling for the race win. Oh, and we're under yellow. Caution is out. Caution is out. We are going in the overtime. So they could not make it all the way. It looks like a Trishi Hiroshi's on pit road. Yep, he's probably the one who crashed. I'll take a look at the replay. So again, the caution was for this. Toby McCoy in the 15 into the tire barriers. This is a weird wreck because you'll see why anyone who's Seen this racetrack knows as Tito McCoy runs in the back of him. Yep, he goes right through the pit wall, the inside wall, and yeah, that's why. So, uh, did Hiroshi have any mechanical issues? David Davis, or David St. Dennis, actually. He was coming down pit road. The uh, 33 tire to 75. Uh, you got the idea? No, no 75 here. So, let's see. Was there any other crashes? Fast forward. Okay, he's in the grass, way into the into the grass. Sideways. Oh, okay, I think I know what's gonna happen here. Yep, he just tags that tire barrier, just sticks out just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Right there. Nearly got Michael Brown. Great save though. But yeah, his the truck is done. He was running tenth too. Threw away a potential top ten finish. All right, so we'll see how they line up, and uh, we'll take you to overtime. So Chapman will lead us to the restart, and there will be 37 trucks restarting. So since we're on a road course, it'll just be one lap and one lap only. So all right, let's take you to overtime. Okay, here we go, overtime finish. Who's gonna win it? Can Chapman hang on? Or Anderson get redemption from the road course at Daytona? Will Oaks make it two in a row? Or will it be anyone else getting their first win of the season? Or second if you're Kasumi. Alright, here we go. Green and white flag will be displayed at the same time. Here we go. Green flag is out. And the white flag is out. One more lap to go here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. The two off to a great restart. Everyone gets through turn one. Anderson still side by side for second. Steps gonna take it though. Drop him to third, maybe even fourth. No mistakes here. Anderson aggressively looking to the outside, but goes back in line. Here we go. 5A, 5B. Perfect, Chapman. Perfect. Anderson gets by for second step, made the mistake. And that is it, as I believe they are crashing behind. The 23, the 51, the 19, the 40. All crashing. Big lead for the two of Travis Chapman. He's led the most laps. 
Lost the lead a few times, but got it right back. Checkered flag is in the air, win number one. Travis Chapman's gonna win it here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Go oh, and Calhoun, oh shit. Oh man, I don't know why that wall is, doesn't have, is, I don't know, not allowed to go through it. But all right, let's take a look at the full race results. So there you have it, Travis Chapman, the winner today. Max Anderson finishes second, step third, Davidson fourth, Oaks fifth, Kazumi sixth, Kananical seventh, McCoy eighth, Rowe ninth, and Tim Randolph finishes tenth. Here is the rest of the race results, and before we take it to victory lane, let's take a look at the crash. So let's see here, Richard Anderson in the 23. Looks like Kip Silver pointing on the back of him. Straight into the wall, hard. So Silver Point ended up going into the dirt. It's a little fast forwarding. Then from the helicopter view. Still sideways and probably guessed it into the tire barriers. That completely totaled it to Blake Peters and Roberto Crown Jr. Got on the record of their own. As Peters goes across the nose of the O2. Collects the 40. Both of them into the wall. But yeah, that was it. So not a lot of big wrecks today. Most of the wrecks happened coming off the last turn. This was our only wreck off of 5B. And usually turn 8 and 9, that's where usually the bigger hits happen. But nobody crashed there today, which is incredible. But yep, there you have it. Travis Chapman, the winner today. Full race results once again. And oh well, well we could take a look at the Calhoun's crash. That was a pretty weird funny one. Because I'm going to go through the wall like that. Yeah, I don't know why. This was also an issue with the... Uh, was it Project Wildfire who made the original Mosport? But yeah, both those tracks have uh, invisible wall or not invisible walls, just yeah, they just they put the texture, but they didn't put the actual wall there, and ends up running into the back of Kip Silver Point on pit road. I mean, that truck's already destroyed, and Cahoon's now truck is destroyed, finishing 14th. But all right, so let's take you to victory lane.